Welcome back guys, it's me, Jancy. Today we've got ourselves another Batania tutorial. This one is on the automatic runic altar. It's a design I've come up with myself. Let me know how we can improve it down in the comment section and we'll get straight into it. Firstly, build yourself a platform that looks like this. The blocks in the middle there on the top are the open crates and all the other blocks are actually the Batania metal blocks. They don't have to be those, I've just used them because they look pretty cool. Place a hopper on this chest, and then come up to the open crates, place hoppers around like this. Be sure to keep the one that is above the chest completely open. Now for the redstone. Place a comparator coming out of the hopper right around this side, then come around the other side and place repeaters coming out of that block. Move up here and place a repeater into this block, and we do the same for the other side. Grab some redstone dust, and then we follow it up from this repeater all the way to the top here. Then we move around here and do it again. Then to finish off the redstone, place a redstone torch on top of this block. One on this side, one on this side. Come around here, and then we'll place one over here and over here. With the redstone finish, we will finish this off. Put some chests on top of these hoppers around here. And now we'll put a trap chest just so that we can place it in between two chests. On this side here, place an open crate, then an item frame, and a hopper hock on top. There you have it, that was the item distributor all done. That was the hard part, now for the easy part. And now for the runic also. You don't have to place it where I'm placing it, you can place it wherever suits your build, as long as it's nearby the item distributor. Firstly, place a dispenser facing upwards. Inside the dispenser, place a wand of the forest. Put the runic altar above the dispenser, then come below the dispenser and place a hovering hourglass with one sand block inside of it. Move back up above the runic altar, go up one block and place a open crate with a hopper hop on top of it. And now I'll show you how to set it up. We're going to be doing a Ruin of Mana, which requires 5 Mana Steel Ingots and 1 Mana Purple. Also, don't forget to connect your Runic Altar to a source of mana. Move around this side and place the Rune you wish to craft into the item frame. Now fill up each chest with the items you wish to get dropped. Each chest will only drop one item, so we need to fill up 5 chests with Mana Steel Ingots, 1 chest with a Mana Pearl, and don't forget to put your Living Rock in a chest as well. We now move around to the runic altar to get everything started up. Drop one root of mana, and you should see it get picked up by the hopper hock and dropped into the hopper, starting this all up. Now have a look in these hoppers, there should be one item in each of them. Go around here and drop another root of mana, and the whole process should start. From here on, everything's automatic, so all you have to do is make sure the chests are stocked up, and it will keep running until it runs out of items. That's it for today guys, I hope it does help you. If you are interested, I've got a few other tutorials around and many more to come. Also, if you did like this video, please leave a like. If you want to comment, leave a comment and be sure to subscribe. We've got many more on the way. Thank you and I'll see you next time.